COCA has seven major search functions. List, Chart, Word, Browse, Collocates, Compare, and Quick. We'll start with List. List is the most basic function, and it allows you to put in a word or a phrase, and then see the wider context around that word or phrase. Let's start with an example. We'll type the word run into the search field and look for matching strings. So type in run and click find matching strings. We see that run occurs in the corpus 263,983 times. Uh, please remember that this number can be difficult can be different <laughs> when you try this out since the corpus is growing on a regular basis. Uh, if, we've, if we first click on the checkbox and then the word run in the highlighted entry, we can see detailed information on the word. If we click the word run with the box unchecked, we can see the wider context. It sometimes takes Coco a minute to process a new request. Uh, here we have the wider context of the word run, and we can see authentic examples of run in use in the corpus. Let's go back to our search and try to refine that a little bit. Let's say we want to look at run only when it occurs as a noun. To do that, we type in the word run, as we did before. Then we can use the drop-down list, POS, to input tags for parts of speech, for example, nouns and verbs. Uh, be sure to click the underscore POS button here. We can then select, for example, a noun, and it will come up like this. Here we have run followed by an underscore and NN, which is the tag for noun. Then we search. Now we have 63,050 hits or occurrences of the word run tagged as a noun. If we want to see run as a verb, we can change our tag by deleting it and instead selecting verb. Now doing our search, we see we have 200,700 and 31 occurrences of run as a verb. So there are more instances of run as a verb than as a noun. Another thing that's interesting in list is that we can search for phrases. For example, if I want to search for go for a run, I can get rid of my POS tags because I'm looking for a phrase now, not a word. Go for a run. And then I click find matching strings. We see that go for a run occurs 190 times. Then if I click on the context, I can see how the phrase go for a run is used. Here we have things like, I thought I'd go for a run, um, I go for a run or spin class, and why do you always go for a run so late? So it sounds like go for a run is used when someone is talking about exercising, or going outside and running. We can compare this to a different phrase like take a run. Take a run occurs 116 times in the corpus, so it happens less than go for a run. Looking at take a run, uh, we find examples like she might decide to take a run at someone else or uh, I encourage Rodrella to take a run at neighborhood diversity. This seems to be used uh, in a little bit different context than go for a run. This is something we'll come back and explore more with quick lines in a minute. Now, the last thing I want to talk about with lists is that you can look for variable slots in the phrases as well. For example, if I use the phrase go for a then I could put in an asterisk or a wildcard, which allows for a variable slot, and then find matching strings. Uh, I can see then what types of words fill that variable slot. Here we can see go for a walk is the most frequent, followed by go for a ride, 
go for a drive, go for a run, go for a swim. So that earlier example of go for a run is frequent, but it's not the most frequent. Here we can see how the phrase go for a and then a variable slot is used and what types of words fill that variable slot. Okay, that's all for list. I think we'll move on to the next one.